Congrats on Vegas. Thank you. I mean, I was one win away from potentially making top eight. I'm pretty sad with that. Neria made top eight with the same lineup, but he threw. Like, I wish I was playing Neria's games in top eight. I feel like I would have played better against Dog. I lost when at 6-1 I killed the only control warrior in the tournament. Okay, maybe not the only one, but like... There are like two control warriors and I killed one of them. At 6-1. Like, I don't know how the guy managed to get 6-1. With control warrior. Like, Rogue just doesn't win that. I think it's close to unwinnable. But he should be close to unwinnable against Bomb Warrior and against Mage. So I don't know how he squeezed through. He just went like... Attack! Oh, Queen Luna spoke yet. Am I happy with picking Rogue? Yes. You're seeing only one Rogue in top 8. But... Rogue just crushes Mage. I feel like if I would be... in That Rogue in top 8, I would... Like, okay, Neria had a hard group with two Warriors. But if he would have Mage group, he would like destroy the tournament. Like, Rogue was the best thing in that top 8. If you put every single deck in top 8 against every single other deck in top 8, Rogue would win most of the time. The, the entire tournament. Rogue, like, never loses to Mage in a best of 5, I think. If both Mage takes for Rogue and the Rogue takes for Mage, Rogue just crushes Mage. It's Warrior that is pretty hard, but, like, both Warriors in top 8 were beatable. One didn't run Omega Assembly main deck, and the other one was running only one Brawl in all of the decks. Will I try TFT? Um, not right now. I'm really like uh, on the Hearthstone thing. So people underrate Rogue versus Warrior. I went against Warriors first three rounds and I beat them all. And you can say I was lucky, but I feel like Rogue is super good. Uh, it was super good in Vegas. In an open field, Rogue is like nice. I'll make it my mission to qualify to Bucharest so I can take a picture with you. If you come to Bucharest and you qualify, you should try to win, not to take a picture with me. But I'll gladly take a picture with you. But you should rather focus on that. You can win 100k. Which is uh, arguably more valuable than my picture. When is Blizzard gonna release in World of Warcraft Auto Chess? Wasn't Toast joking? Like he was saying like, like Blizzard is gonna release Auto Chess when he's no longer gonna be popular. <laughs> I mean he was right in a way. Because they released like... Um... Hot when like the mobile market was like oversaturated. Yeah, good. Thank you for the host. Hi there, everybody. Maybe a signed picture is a hundred K. Are you going to qualify for Bucharest? I feel like a lot of Romanians have the potential to qualify and then do well. Reject Kid 89, thank you very much for the sub. Thank you very much. Also, Colin Rowe, thank you for the five months. Thank you guys so much. So many subs already, and like people watching. Like, I even forget how it was to stream. Like, being away for so much time. I'm still, like, a little exhausted, but... There's nothing, nothing that uh, caffeine cannot solve. <sighs> I think we pass and we don't play Zilliax here. Yeah. 
jet lag. I think I was jet lagged when I got there. Not 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 like uh when I came back. Did you have fun? Um, yes and no. I don't know. Like, I went there to play a tournament, not really to, like, enjoy the city. So, when I was still in the tournament, when other people, like, were going to clubs and stuff, after, like, day one, I was still, like, going to sleep early and focusing on the tournament. And after I lost, I was, like, a little bit upset and I didn't want to, like, go, like, hard party. But I enjoyed my time there. Like... I still managed to like have some fun. Ooh, we take this, right? Or uh, I don't know. This is probably better. This is super naughty. Actually, we should do this first. Should do this. Now you do this. Unity, and yeah, um, In and Out was really good. I, I tried In and Out and I tried Shake Shack. They were both really good. But other than that, I haven't tried everything from the American cuisine. Just tried some burgers and stuff. It's pretty good. Um, so this is 10 damage and this is 10 damage. If we just take a little bit of damage, he, he's dead. Yeah, this build is pretty different than like Cyclone Mage. It doesn't have the Cyclone. And it runs more card draw together with Luna's Pocket Galaxy. Am I going to Sol? Yes. I'm gonna go to all the free Master Tours. I feel like as a Grand Master, you should go to all the Master Tours. Unless you have like a really good reason to not go to one. How did my teammate do in Vegas? Uh, Thais went 4-3 and then he dropped even though he was like still, he, he could still make 9-3. Uh -huh. He wouldn't make top 8 because of tiebreakers, but he could play for like extra money. But he didn't know that, he thought like 4-3 was out. And he was mostly playing for top 8, right? Am I going to the Master 3 in Romania? No man, he's too far away. I go to Vegas, which is like 25 hours away, and to Seoul, which is like... A million hours away, but I'm not gonna go to the tournament in my hometown. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, of course I'll go. I'm pretty hyped for Bucharest. Best location they could have chosen. So I don't have to travel. Imagine like not missing streaming time. Like I can stream the day before the event. I can stream, probably not gonna stream the day before the event because like I need to prepare my lineup, but I can stream exactly the day after. Like, even if I go to the after party, I can, like, stay up all night until, like, 4 a.m., just come back to my 20-minute-away apartment, sleep a couple hours, wake up, stream. They'll be the nuts. Party at my place? It's a pretty small apartment, Derek, but you're invited. I could do a small party at my place, but it's, like, a two-room apartment, I think. One bedroom. Pretty small. I don't even know why I played Doomsayer. Air. 
What's my opinion on dog controversy and posting stuff on Twitter before? Well, it's not dog's fault that he changed the deck. It's Balfi's fault because they're they ha- they they had their system abused. And I don't know. For example, I didn't change anything because the meta was how I predicted it to be. But if the meta wouldn't be how I predicted it to be, I would change things too. So if anything, it kind of like, I don't know, it's a weird one. It's never the player's fault here. Like if you find that, if there is a leak, you shouldn't go like, oh, I'm not going to change anything because it's not fair. You should consider the leak as like, you see everybody's decks and you're allowed to resubmit submit if you want. Oh no. Am I going to lose? Wait. So everybody had literally the same exact information. If you wanted to change, you could change. So how can you say it's Dork's, Dork's fault that he decided to change? I don't get that aspect. Like, I could have changed. I didn't want to, because I, I like my decks. There's no way I lose this game. Why am I playing Snip Snap in this deck? I don't know, I feel like Snip Snap is such a versatile card. It should fit in like most decks. I even played Snip Snap in Rogue. Ah. What I don't understand was like how Dog wanted to bring Shigvala in the first time. Maybe I think of Shigvala too little. I even faced a Shigvala at 6 and 2, so it's at a decent score. And I lost to it. But. I don't know, I feel like I expected like almost most people to bring Bomb Warrior. So I, I was like, we never play Shivala. Maybe they were like a little bit more Bomb Boys than I expected. I, I personally said, said there will be more rogues and I haven't faced one other rogue in the entire tournament. I thought it would be rude or annoying to introduce myself in Vegas. How do you feel about things like that? Oh, I don't mind it. I love it. Like, I'm doing this for a, li- for a living thanks to you guys. So, I should be the one that goes to say hi to everybody. I really don't mind it. As long as you're like not coming in the middle of a game, which probably doesn't happen. Perfectly fine. Der Funder, thank you for the 10 months. Hope you had a good time in Vegas. I had a decent time. I was more for the tournament there. Like, I don't know how other players are able to go to a tournament and, like, enjoy the city over, like, enjoying the tournament. Like, the tournament was, like, my number one business in Vegas. I didn't really have time to, like, walk around too much. Uh, You don't want to play Doomsayer here. But do we want to ping? I feel like I kind of want to coin the AI. Or coin Acolyte. Maybe coining Acolyte is the play. He ignores it, I just ping. And then you keep AI for when you draw the Luna Pocket. Let the pain speak to, me. to be able to enjoy the city, I should have taken some extra days off. But I don't know, then I'll like miss streaming way too much. Like I already feel like I missed too many days of streaming. I feel like once you're on the streamer grind, you cannot really have like a pure holiday of like one or two weeks. And I don't even want one. Like, I I don't feel like I want a holiday. I haven't worked enough. (laughs) Yeah, Wasmo. NA Clown Fiesta. Thank you for the sub. (laughs) Clown Fiesta. Isn't Forsen the one who invented that saying? Clown Fiesta. What's the name of this deck? Freeze Mage? I guess. (laughs) Not Cycle Mage. If you got to the pool party like Doggy could have also won. There is one problem with the pool party. 
it was the night before the event and I was like so tired because I had, I, I traveled for like 27 hours thanks to British Airways or British delays. And uh, I was dead, like 9 p.m. I, I fell in my bed like a brick. Maybe next time Blizzard should host the after party, you know, after the event and not before. John, with the 12 months, one year. Thank you so much, John. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Can you link me your rogue deck? I will build it and even play it a bit after this game. I feel like the meta on Ladek seems good for the rogue. That in would I have brought a different deck? No. I would keep the exact same deck. It was very good. Neria with, with like a group of mages over a group of warriors in top 8 would have won the entire tournament. Because the mages beat the warriors. But like he queued warrior round 1. He had two warriors out of three in his group, and he was playing against the warrior in game one. It's very hard to make it out of there. And the mage was not even cyclone mage. It was this freeze mage, which you're still favored against. But yeah, it was a pretty bad group for Neria. And he still could have won the event if he played, I think, perfectly in top eight. Can you link me your Paladin deck? I don't play Paladin. Maybe I should try it. I'll play the Paladin of the guy that beat me. It's like a Swedish guy who won WSG. But I think I also misplayed there. I, I feel like if I would play that series perfectly, I would also win. Like, I'm not 100% happy with how I played. I'm okay with how I played. Especially looking at some of the top 8 games like Fino. Fino even threw a game against me. Like, Fino was recording all, he, all his games, and like, after I beat him, he told me that he threw a game. This is what I like about Fino. He's also like super self-conscious. When he messes up, he says it. I mean, he also trolls about it. He was saying like, it's the first time in his life when he throws the game. Which is obviously like, a joke. Did I lose against known players? I can tell you all my Vegas matches after this game. Let me finish this and I'll tell you every single opponent I faced and how I did against them. And how I feel the series went. No Premium night drop, by the way. Oh, it's a drop. This deck doesn't seem that good. I know how dog won with this deck. It seems like he'd never win mirror matches of Cyclone Mage. How does this deck win is beyond my power of understanding. I mean, my opponent is not playing Cyclone. He's playing the same list, probably. Oh, okay. I see how we win this. He played both. He played both conjurers. Just do a galaxy on five every time. I guess that's a way. Oh, he gives me full boy because of Kaigar. I want to make seven drops and freeze his board. can be naughty with this. <laughs> Maybe we can come back. He 
He can conjure, but then I still like clear the board. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have used the raise. Yeah, this was this was a uh, to way to to telling. I, bring light. I guess it wasn't. Do we ever trade Alex? Probably not worth, right? You require my assistance. Uh, woof. What is he doing? Aha. He's getting a handful of balls of fire. Aha. But if he double fireballs, I just Alex myself. Now I'm not sure if it's worth Alexing myself. This is getting confusing. Why not conjure on Tonidas? <sighs> I feel like I wanted a, a bigger board for myself more than like dealing with his Tony. But you're right, I could have avoided most of the fireballs. Hmm. He's testing. I still lose even if I Alex, right? He has two fireballs in hand. Well done. You win. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> this deck is probably not the best for laddering. 